on the other side of your fear is a fulfilled destiny. How bad do you want it? And like an eagle is the only bird that flies into the storm. It is time for you to fly into the next dimension of where you have been called to. What is your dream? What is your idea? What is your assignment? There is a new breed of champions emerging out of the ashes of doubt and fear. Your knees may be knocking, your palms sweaty, but the time is now to rise up and run after it. Run after your dream. Run after your idea. Run after your goal. What is it that you have been called to do? I can see your giant of addiction running towards you with words of darkness, death, attempting to strike fear in your heart. Will you cower? Will you back down? Or will you run? It's a battle. You see, many of us believe that just because our father was a drug dealer and our uncle was a drug dealer, that that is our life and that is our forever. But I want you to know something. That is only a lesson to show us to be something more than what they thought we can be. You see, when a family tree is dying, all you have to do is take care of the roots. And if the roots is too dead to bring the tree back alive, you plant another one. Remember, you are not fighting for only yourself, but you are fighting for a generation of people who will come after you. You are fighting for the bride. You are fighting for your family. You are fighting for your legacy. What you are fighting for is bigger than you. Do not forget this. Your dream, your idea, whatever goal you have, get up and run after it. But I see a generation rising up against the one who called you powerless, rising up against the fiery darts of the enemy, rising up against the lie that have held us down far too long, rising up against the despair in the heaviness and the chronic anxiety. I have waited my whole life for this moment. Thank you to everybody that doubted me. Knees buckling, palms sweaty, heart heavy, but I'm ready. I'm afraid, but I'm running. You will hear my feet walk in the pavement. I'm no more complacent. There will be many giants in your life. There will be depression. There will be anxiety. There will be oppression. There will be stress. There will be overwhelm. Will you buckle under the pressure or will you rise to the occasion? If you are going to defeat your giant, if you are going to defy the odds, if you're going to remove the lids and the labels, if you are going to step and venture into uncharted territory, you are going to have to master the art of rising early. You see, kings and queens, life is like one man standing on one single street. If you stay in this lane, you will continue to ride. But if you pay attention to all the other cars, you will crash. I mean, don't pay attention to the next man. Pay attention to the best man. See, the best man is whoever you believe he is because the mind has power. Your mouth and your words have power. It's a mentality. Roses can grow in the projects if you take care of the soil. It don't matter how big the house is, baby. It's the love inside of it. Take care of your community. Take care of your brothers and sisters. Hold cowards accountable for what they put in your neighborhoods. Put your crown back on your head. Let the world know your name. You see all these men standing on top of the world, you think they're special, you think they're everything, but you don't know what they did to get there. Are you willing to sell your soul for material things? 
Because right now, we're losing a battle to the evil, and I'm telling you, young kings, I need you to come back. If you are going to defeat your giant, you are going to need heart. You must overcome what lies between the pit of your fears and the summit of your knowledge. Our Goliaths, our challenges, our giants oftentimes meet us in our valley places. It's not on the mountaintop that David fought Goliath, but it's in the valley. I tell you this, the tangible giants in our life are defeated by means that are intangible. If a man can conquer his mind, sir, if a man can master discipline, then there is nothing he can't win. One thing we know about David is that David had a mind that was fully persuaded. He was not motivated by his sling. He was motivated by something very intangible, something very supernatural. If you're going to defeat this giant, if you're going to win the war, it starts on the battlefield of your mind. This is where the war is won. Over the course of your life, you will discover that the obstacle is the way, that there is great counsel in conflict. We will discover that we are most creative in the midst of adversity. So do not run from your battle, for the battle is a learning experience. The battle is a platform for promotion. You gotta overcome fear. The moment that you overcome fear, then your opponent is bankrupt. There's nothing they can do. You're gonna to have to dispense with fear and with negative self-talk. Remember your why. It is the why that gets us to win. And it is the why that gives us the power to persevere through the how. Stop looking for the addition. Stop looking for the validation. Stop looking for everybody to agree with what you're about to do. Stop looking for everybody to understand and know this, all you have is all you need. What has been tested, what has been proven. Do something with what's in your hand. Do what you can with what you have. But I want to tell you this, that you are phenomenal. You are a king. You come from royal blood. You stand on the tip top of pyramids. You are royalty, king. You are a light. You are a star. The question is, do you believe you are a